I just wanted to share some really uh, great news on Google Earth Engine and this one is regarding the freely available planet data sets in Google Earth Engine uh, over the tropics so uh, through a partnership between planet and the Norwegian government and other parties there's been uh, free very high resolution data released uh, I think this happened somewhere in the last quarter of last year 2020 and this is an amazing data set over tropical Africa America and Asia so um, if you're working in these regions uh, I think you got lucky it's it's fantastic data sets it's a five band image which has the standard visible and then one near infrared band so you can quickly inspect the data here uh, in Google Earth Engine and by the way uh, you need to sign up uh, before you can access this data I don't think it takes that long to get approval but uh, however if you are already an Earth Engine user and also you already uh, have signed up for this free data set uh, I think you should probably have received an email by now telling you how you can access this data through Google Earth Engine. So this is fantastic data um, uh, which uh, covers 2019 onwards. So for, no, actually more than that, I believe. So it's from 2015 uh, until date and before 2020 the data set that are available are sort of biannual composites right so they have uh, cloud free composites uh, for for every year so twice a year you have data in june and december but i think from 2021 onwards um, uh, these mosaics are available every month right on a monthly basis so great data uh, for everyone interested this is how the bands look like the regular blue green red near infrared bands and so you can filter this image like you do sentinel or landsat whatever data set that you use in google earth engine uh, the main property here that you might be interested in is either to filter by monthly data or biannual data and so the cadence is the property name that you are looking for for filtering and uh, I made a quick script on in a study area but I thought I would show you uh, the whole image footprint for Africa for 2019 so the first half of, of 2019 you can see that here and so I filtered, you know, just import the data like you do. If you're familiar with Google Earth Engine, you can uh, import it from here or copy the uh, link to the data set and use that as an object within the um, editor. And yeah, uh, so I call that planet uh, filter by cardings and I'm interested in biannual data I'm just interested in the first half of 2019 so uh, that will retain an image collection and so if you want an image you sort of cast it to a list and get the uh, the element on the list and then you can uh, retain that as a Google Earth uh, engine image object right so I've commented this out because uh, I clipped to the area that I'm interested in. But look at this data. It's, you know, largely cloud free, right? Very high resolution data all over Africa right now. There are others for Asia and uh, the Americas as well. So yeah, there you have it. Um, I hope you have fun playing with this data as I'm very much looking forward to and thank you for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you for now. See ya.